path, as with in many things in life, we need to be very careful with the word always. When we start multiplying, we see that if we multiply 2 times 4, we get the bigger number 8. Or if we do 10 times, uh, let's say, 12, then we get the bigger number 120. And we tend to start thinking that multiplying always makes things big. In actuality, we have to settle for a more limited statement. Multiplying by a number larger than 1, as we've done in both of these cases, we've multiplied by something that was larger than 1, 4, and then 12, it made our positive numbers bigger. But if we change those things, it's uh, not quite as easy. For example, if I multiply 6 by 1 third, which of course is not larger than 1, I'm going to end up with 2. So the 6 does not, in effect, get bigger. Another alternative we might consider is if we took a number like uh, negative 100, and I multiplied that by something um, that was larger than 1, let's say 3, that would give us negative 300. In this case, starting with a negative and multiplying it by a number bigger than 1 gives us something which is more negative. So we need to be careful about what we mean by bigger here. This is actually less than, negative 300 is less than negative 100. So even though it has a bigger absolute value, it doesn't make sense in all contexts to refer it to simply as bigger. So it does get a little bit hairy when you start introducing positives and negatives. So we can't always say that multiplying makes a number bigger. What we can say, a little more refined, is to say that multiplying by a number larger than 1 makes positive numbers bigger. So just keep in mind that uh, this original statement is not an absolute. Thank you very much. Hope this makes sense.